Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. <laughs> Sophie has a plan for <laughs> tricking the chickens. Go that way. <laughs> Ellie plays with the chickens, and the silkies are so sweet, they just play back with her. Oh, hi, Leo. Hi, Leo. What are you doing on the wrong side of the fence? So fall has fallen, Come on, buddy. and the leaves are gone. Let's see if they all follow us down through that gate. And someone left the gate open this morning. <laughs> Could have been me. It was you. <laughs> so Leo and Lucy escaped. Nope, not that way. Here we follow Sophie. I'm turning into hurting Laura. Uh oh. See? I can hurt anything. Oops. Oh man. Sorry about your lock, but you're locked in now. <laughs> you would not believe what I just saw. That was so mean. I don't know if you guys can see. On the other side of that hay bale is a little white goat. <laughs> it's a baby goat. She was standing up there eating away. Gracie reaches over and pushes her off the hay bale with her nose. She just quietly reaches over, smash, <laughs> and the goat goes flying. All the goats are here. Storm's about to tell them off too. Honey! <laughs> they don't listen to Storm the way that, that the horses do though. Anyway, welcome to today. Today is the day that Ellie <laughs> carries a stick. Today is the day that we have to winterize this farm. Like there's no more days, there's no more putting it off. Every day I find other things that I love doing more. I'm spending a lot of time down in my goat barn. Hi, so do you guys notice her hair? Who, I'm surprised you didn't mention that she has like a bowl cut. <laughs> well, I'm gonna tell you guys what happened to her hair. It was an accident. I'm not gonna name names, but after a show one time, people were trying to pull out her braids and they had the little braids clippers, zipper thing, the little thing that takes out the braids. And just as they were about to use it to t take out that braid, Gracie threw up her head and poof, she's got a bowl cut. So Sophie was learning how to do their grain and their feed. I feed the goats a special way. Sophie was learning to do it last night and she said, can I feed my goats any of this stuff? Or can I feed my horses any of this stuff? And yeah, there's some goat feed and horse feed that intermingles. So I showed her what she could give the horses. How did the horses like, oh, that's a cute picture. How did the horses like the feed that you gave them last the night? Harris loved it. And how did Storm like it? Uh, he wasn't in love with it. He wasn't in love with it. He's like, what do you mean? I like everything. No, he does not. I know, he's he a picky. He doesn't like molasses. Yeah, he's a prissy boy. He's a, he's a picky boy. He likes what he likes and that's it. Apparently he likes Gracie. Some of the things that she tr gave him to try were black oil sunflower seeds and we're gonna keep giving him those. He did okay with them. He didn't love them. Like Penny loved them. But Storm was like, eh, they're all right. So we're gonna continue to give them that because he's our least easy keeper. And it's not that he's a hard keeper. It's, it's just that he's the one that can take or leave food. It's not that he is a hard keeper is that he, he doesn't care so much about food. Our other horses just look at food and they get fat and he literally looks away from food sometimes. But anyway, enough chit chatting. Let's get to work. Winter eyes are a little farm. It's just not a little farm, it's a nice farm. It's a big farm. Let's start in the chicken coop, Sophie. I just woke up these chickens laying in the sun. They looked so adorable just laying there. So these are some of our babies that we had last year, that we hatched last year. She's like, don't, don't disturb me. It's honestly cold outside, brisk. The air is brisk. I got my gloves on even. But they're enjoying the sun. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right With you and 
All right, so step one done. I did this window. It doesn't look gorgeous, but it's protected. I'm thinking I should maybe put like some of this on the other side as well. Sam did that one. He did a little bit of a better job than I did, but I bet you I put more layers, so I bet you mine's warmer, but it should really help with the chicken coop. On to the next step. Sam. What? What are you making? Goose. A house for is it for inside or for outside? For inside. Before I sleep, hear the cricket, see the moon. What are you working on? Getting her to set up So she's teaching her showmanship. Yeah. Like just think, a year ago we didn't even understand what any of this stuff was, and now you're like so into it. I'm gonna bring her down to the goat barn. All right, bring her down to the goat barn. She loves goats. Her fur is coming in really nice. So Honey's hair is coming in really nicely. People have said in the past that their first few sheds are the most important for growing, learning how to grow and manage their hair. And we ended up shaving her because we ended up with these heat waves and she was so fluffy. She was practically dying from the heat. So her fluff was like out to here. Yeah, and it was in like the summer. It was awful. So. We ended up shaving her, but her fur is coming, but her hair is coming in really nicely now. Do you think her hair is coming in nicely? Yeah, it's being curly. Like on this side, you can see it's curly. Yeah, it's weird. She's got these weird lines. Look at her mane. It's so messy. Yeah. She rubs it. She's rubbing it places. Yeah, what is happening to her mane? I think she's rubbing it. See how her hair grows? She, her hair grows in these little lines. She looks like a zebra. Even when, she, even when she has her summer coat on, she has those lines. But yeah, she's got a lot of curl in there, doesn't she? Mm -hmm. You get off that hay bale. We don't stand on it. So this is our only goat that's in heat right now. It's usually like she'll be in heat for three days and then the next one will come in. Today's day three and none of the other ones seem to be coming into heat. Which makes me really nervous. Because a goat that does not come into heat... It's called a pregnant goat. And that, my friends, is not something that we want. Gonna work with her in the round ring? Um, I said you can put the door back up. I can put the door back up. It's heavy. Out, get out. Oh no. I need to get you out. Come here, little boy. Look, I have treats in my hand. Come here. All right, you can stay. Okay, so my plan for this barn is to one, use some straw. We're gonna get more straw. What I plan to use it for is the duck and the goat, no, the duck and the goose house. I wish we just had like two geese or two ducks because saying duck and goose is the hardest thing. Try it. <laughs> so I'm gonna fill all everybody's little huts with this and then I'm going to put plastic on these doors because all the doors here have these like holes and stuff. They're still gonna have these because I can't close that over. We need to be able to use the door still, but I'm gonna be able to try and at least make it a little bit more weatherproof. We know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. this barn for my ponies. <laughs> I know. And you know what? It could still happen, except for I don't think we should separate them. She's gonna try and climb on that stuff. Oh my gosh. I already know it. Sophie says she wanted this barn for her ponies. Honey loves this doll. She does. Well, I mean, if it gets really cold and they get too cold, we could bring them down here. She's gonna pee. I love bringing our... our babies down and like letting them hang out with us while we work. I need to bring Willow down here, but she'd rather eat than enjoy. Yeah, Honey loves to be like out doing stuff with us, so. Look how tiny she is though. All right, so one piece done. All I did was cover this, this space here. 
this is still a drafty door, but it's at least a little bit better. When I was little, and not that little, I remember it still, it was like when I was 10, I would honey. sleep at night with all my babies, all my dolls. I would sleep with them all tucked in bed. And I would wake up in the morning, and if any of them were uncovered, I would feel so sad, I'd be devastated. I'd just feel awful that they were cold in the night, and I would cry. <laughs> And I've never outgrown that. I've literally never outgrown that. I still feel anxiety if I think any of our animals will be cold and like the chickens, whatever. Like I always get anxiety with them being outside at night in the cold. And so that's why I wanna try and make the barn as warm as possible and just see if I can make it a little bit nicer for them and nicer for me so that I can sleep so I'm not up all night worrying that they're cold. <laughs> And if Sophie had her way, every single one of her horses would have a mattress in their bed, in their, in their stall. Penny would love it. She would sleep on it. So would Storm. So would Penny. Um, I love it. Need help with this. So Sophie, you might as well come here and help too. Oh, so there's a little door. Yeah. So just let me just do this part first. We don't need no more. I like it. I think we should make one for outside too. The problem is if we make one for outside, I think we should have one for outside. Yeah, I was just thinking of buying a dog house for outside. They have insulated dog houses that yeah. you can buy people have built or... Yeah, that's a good you idea. That nice plastic one I've seen. That looks good. All right, that's a good idea. The only thing is I'm worried that the goats are gonna take it, take over it. All right, so we are failing at goats. Yeah. But we are winning at ducks and geese. Someone geese. almost fell on their face. So, oh my gosh, you guys. How do you think Leo's going to fit through that? Bring him in. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. No. All right. No. Wait, <sighs> right, so... Mr. Man, close that door because uh, you stay here. I just found her on the road. Come on in. We want you to try your new house. Come on. So we were in the barn and we had this door open like this while we were doing stuff and the little buck came in. No big deal because the girls are locked outside. Well, he jumped the door. Jumped a door higher than this. Just jumped over top of it and was like trying to mate with our girl that's in heat, but we got him away just in time. Lucy, I can help you. Lucy's not good at taking her time. Should yeah. I put her in the thing? Yeah, put her in. It's definitely getting harder to catch them. Grab the milk, because she's going to make her run. Oh. That's your winter bed. Oh, he fits. <laughs> they fit. All right. Well, there you go. We just wanted to show you your bed. It's all that for nothing. Yeah, Lucy's digging for bugs all along the wall. Every day we come in and there's holes. There's some on that side too. Anyway, I don't. I just don't see them liking this. But hopefully one day they'll get so cold that they'll be like, okay. Hopefully they don't get so cold. Well, if they get cold enough, they'll go in. No. Okay, you can go back out now. <laughs> Quick, or, open the door. All right. But then the goats are gonna run in. Thank God. <laughs> All right, we're going up into the house because we're exhausted. Thing with animals is really hard, you guys. Yeah, you carry that thing down. And you're trying to pick it up. So I'm trying to rescue the goat. I'm trying to rescue the goat from being bred because she's not being bred. And then I look up and a car is on the road and I thought they were watching me and I'm like, what the heck? And I look over and there's Ellie in the middle of the road. Everyone says babies are hard and kids are hard. Leave the chickens alone! Yeah, the rooster's chasing Ellie because Ellie's chasing the chickens. Listen, <laughs> we've had a rough day. If Don't even. Gorgeous, I can pee my pants and put you on top of them. <laughs> do you guys ever do that thing where you have to pee or where you laugh so hard you almost pee your pants? Yeah, well, that's me and Sophie. And you're so freaking scared that you. <laughs> Every day. Uh, 
This is why I'm chubby, you guys. I need to like this food now. I'm like exhausted just from trying to deal with animals. You hear that noise? It's the sound of no goats calling to me. Every day, surprise storms out there. Every day at dinner, the goats just start, start howling the minute they hear us. But because it's raining. Oh, poor Gracie. Oh my gosh, the horses got wet. It just started raining not very long ago. We decided to bring everybody in early. All the beautiful colored trees are gone. Oh, your horse is already ready for you. Let's fix your blanket. Uh-oh, hold on. He's like, let me in! <laughs> oh my god! How did the door get open? Oh! Sam was the last one to leave the barn. Oh no. Our goat is gonna be pregnant now. That's the first time they've been left alone. Like literally left alone. Why is it so hard? Well, Why? Why is this so hard? Your dreams didn't come true. Yeah, I had a dream. I mean, the others weren't in heat anyways. They weren't in heat? No. Uh, Just rosy. Jesus! <laughs> God! Honestly! Uh, Why? Why are we so bad at this? You stop. We... Uh, hey, well, I need that I bad. mean... Uh-oh, this is not your house. <laughs> Get him. I uh, can't grab it with your fingers. Hold on. Oh. Oh, Come here. Rosie, you better not be pregnant. Oh my gosh. This is not good news. So that's why the goats weren't screaming. It's official. One of our goats is for sure pregnant. Not one that we wanted to be pregnant. Sometimes life on the farm is really hard. Today I thought about... Give them their grave. Who? The boys. Today I thought about how we could keep him from seeing. Definitely that door closed all the time. Dad, I watched him jump it. He's like, Yo! so what happens is he got into the barn twice today, jumped this door here. So this door. So this door is open halfway. Your dream came true. Jumped it. Yeah, yeah. And then today Sophie and I have been waiting for the other goats to go into heat. Dad was the last one out of the barn. He's gonna hop this. If he can hop that gate, why can he not hop this gate? He just runs and takes a jump at it. We should move this wheelbarrow out of the way. I know you can name the book. Drama in the goat barn. Drama in the goat barn. Having the buck here, we had to have the buck here because he was... See, that's creepy. <laughs> Imagine walking outside hearing that. Mm -hmm. I'd be like, there's a skinwalker here. <laughs> like, so, basically every month he escapes whenever the girls come into heat. So we're so good at watching, noticing when they come into heat. I don't know what else we can do. Today I was trying to figure out like, how can we keep him from even noticing that the girls are in heat? I was gonna put blankets, a big, huge, like big, huge sleeping bags over the fences to see if that would try and deter him, but it was supposed to rain and it is raining and I don't want to have to like you have soaking wet inside. blankets. So but then I saw Rocky right here and I was like, hmm, that's suspicious. Even today when he jumped the fence, I was here and I knew what was happening. I grabbed him before he could do anything. We have one girl in heat and I grabbed him before he could do anything. But then now Sam left, left the door open. We didn't know. So yeah, one of our goats has been bred prematurely and that is not fun. I'm so upset. Like in the States, they have medication that you can give to like stop a pregnancy from forming. We don't have it in Canada. Yeah, we should get somebody to send it to us but it'll be too late by the time it gets here. I'm worried that he's gonna jump out and go into there thing again. I'm worried too. Well, let's go yell at dad. So, do you remember today when you said, wait for me, when you were the last one out of the barn? Yeah. How well did you lock the gate on the scale? How long did you close, how well did you close the door? Which door? The door you came out of. The one to go into the barn. Pretty good. <laughs> Not good. No. So now one of our goats that I didn't want to breed right now is pregnant. How do you know? Because he was in with them. This whole entire time. Scale of one to ten. What? <laughs> A scale of one to ten. Like why there's no chance she wasn't bred. Wait, I wasn't the last one out. Yes, you were. you were. 
Because I was running after mom and you were the last one out. And then she said, wait for me. And then you came following behind and said, wait for me. Never mind. I'm going wait for me. Never gate. mind. I'm going through the other gate. That's right. I went through the other gate. Yeah. You went through that open. door though. No. The it door was open then. The one to go into the goat barn. Where the boys go in. Yeah. It's cold. Nope. No, it's... The one you came out of, but nice try. So, that's okay. not good. Oopsies. Oopsies. We're gonna be so, uh, today, Sophie and I were worried because usually when goats come into heat, what happens is that one comes into heat and then like the, ne the next day, or maybe two days later, the next one comes into heat. And then maybe two days later, the next one comes into heat. So, it's how we can tell, make sure that our goats haven't been bred. We've been like super on it. There have been times when the goats have gotten together, but we've been there right away, instantly seen it all. And we know for sure that the goats haven't been bred, but only one goat came into heat and it's been three days now. And none of the others have come back into heat. And that is scary. So I know goats can breed through fences, but we put special protective fence on his side of the fence so that he couldn't breathe through the fence. So here's hoping, fingers crossed, that nobody else is pregnant yet. We wanted to wait until have to have April or May babies, but this has been honestly the biggest struggle ever, like trying to keep a hormonal goat separated from girls. They jump fences, they dig ditches, they like, <laughs> You name it, they do it. And we're home all the time and we're watching all the time. And we've been really lucky so far. And we're not lucky now. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the